Welcome back to more Factorio Space Exploration. And let's start with the uh, scaling part. Good, we're back. I'm going to need more concrete if uh, this has any chance of success. And I might just start cannibalizing some of this. A bit of a waste of materials to spend materials to pick up other materials. Ooh. The good thing with nanobots is you just need to be there when they trigger and then you can run away. Looking good. This one seems also like a bit of a waste. Really, someone should be picking this up. Ah, oh, don't want to fill me in with junk. Let's see, we are... Fuck! God damn it, this is not what I need. I've been screwed over just a few too many times today to really find this to be particularly fun. <sighs> yeah, that's um that's, that's fun once, and then it's not fun anymore. Oh, I'm not... I, I think that the whole combination here... I was really looking forward to playing, and... Just the combination of, of the mods not working, the server not working... Uh, just... Being constantly told to do other things... Um, it's just... it's getting to me. I'm sorry about that. We're trying, we're trying. This one is never gonna happen. So might as well replace it with something else. One. That's fine. That one's not needed either. This one's going to make landfill. And let's see. One, one. This one. Okay, yeah. And then we start making mistakes like this.
Is this emptying? Yeah, this is emptying this belt. Fine. Uh, I can put this in here. This is basically just empty it as much as possible. That's the prize for being really good this morning on the puzzle game. Yeah, maybe that's... Uh, I think you just broke the fuel line to copper and beyond. Uh, did, yeah, I did. I did. You're right. Thank you. Deny others. That's very, very good. Thank you. That was awesome. Now we take... Well, let's copy this one out and just replace it there. Thank you, nanobots. You are awesome. There. And there. And let's see. Oops, these go in here. Okay, so this will just give us some landfill. It's not going to be a lot of landfill, but it'll be something, right? And and that's that's going to be something. Yeah. Let's uh, let's just this. That's just going to keep keep going. Now let's build some. <clears throat> I'll try to build some. Uh, red circuits here. The thing is also that things just tend to just compile on top of each other when things go wrong because it's also it also means that the stream is less enjoyable for you, my dear audience, and that sucks because that's also making you less engaged. We can see the numbers are absolute shit today in terms of how, how the first few episodes were. And it's totally understandable because we've really not been, been hitting our stride today. And I hope you will give me a chance to uh, make it better next time. Um, sometimes it's just too many things on top of each other. We'll just bring a man to his knees. This is one and that one. Luckily we tried this one before. More goods. Yeah. Everyone has a bad day. No, that's, uh, that's not a really a good enough excuse. Um, it, it's... Yeah, I'm also human, so sometimes when things just compile or pile on top of each other, then it just gets a bit overwhelming. And that's kind of how I feel right now. Uh, this one... Okay, did we really all... Oh, 600, that's a bit much, but... Maybe what we need. Uh, there, yes. Anything else that we feel we don't have enough of, that we want more of? that one. This one doesn't seem like enough. Splitters, boxes, oh here. Maybe that one's good. Reds and simplers. Oh that's a lot. And what do we need? We need the uh, we need some meteors to crash right on top of our base. Wouldn't that just be like the perfect then I'll just go go to bed and cry myself to sleep and that'll be the last of that. There we go. And the idea is these are going to output to the middle lane and each of the outer lanes is exactly the same. They'll be split and we'll do some mumbo jumbo over there. This one's gonna get one in, two out. One in, two out. One in for each. There we go. Get some light. Like this. And this one. Okay, so this is copper. And we are going to do some kind of... You just get out of there. 
see. This one is... How do I do this? I think I need more space. So we have two lanes here. This one goes out, jumps under, like two. There. That's how we usually do it. means this one can go into this and this one goes it's probably better to do this you that's horrible maybe if they are one further apart is that better it looks better. Yep, that's good. This one. Very close. Input, input, how the hell do we get the red ones out? I'm going to use the red one. Like that. Ow. I will make that box here. Boom. And this one. This one we built before. I left towards the latest point 0.17 and came back to Xenos building a depiction of Cthulhu with belts. Yeah, well, I think we need to pray, pray to Cthulhu now. There's nothing left. No hope left. No hope left at all. Okay, this one is going to be copper. So let's get some copper in here. things sort of we add it all up and I we're still doing something right I mean not completely useless what we're doing here will be some progress and let's see oops I'll take this one no nope, I'll take you know what I'll take this one out that doesn't belong oh, come on Spot. And this one, bring that there and there. And we get our magical plastic. Nope. I can see this one is the only one that can beat the air, that one, there. Boom, much better. Last one as well. There. Boom, plastic bars, and why are we not getting these? Oh, 
That was some really big icons. Wow. Looks interesting. All right, more stuff being built. Yeah, this was not actually weaving, but this is just more along the lines of uh, just... I smell copper. Really? You smell copper? Please. Right, we built something. Yay! We're awesome. Do you want to double it up just for the hell of it? Even though I cannot support it in any way, shape or form. Just because I want to be... Greed is good. Ow! Stinosko, thank you with the 8-bit Kevin. Hopefully he can cheer you up a bit. Thank you. See, look how happy I am. So happy. <sighs> That's not gonna do anything. All right, we have red circuits almost. Why do we not have red circuits? Can you just please build it? Please give me red circuits. All right, so we have red circuits now. That's something. It's not nothing. Definitely not nothing. And I will get some more of these. There are some flying things here that don't really make a lot of sense. See that it flies down there. Let's get four of them in this corner. So these four. They go down there to protect. To serve and protect. Okay, let's take some of these. Now, what is the next thing we want? Next thing is we need to build these electric engine units. In order to build electric engine units, we have the green, yes. We have the electric motors, yes. We have the engine units, yes. We have the lubricant, no. So we're going to get lubricant in as well as... Hey, Jeffers, thank you for the Android. Nice haircut, yeah. You know, it's become human, <clears throat> maybe. Oh, look how dead it is, the copper. Why do we not have more copper then? Yeah, we only have one lane of copper and I just prevented it from ever doubling, but that's a different perspective. Thank you, Jeffers, that's kind of you. I really appreciate that you are all trying to cheer me up. I really do appreciate it. And and I, I feel bad because I shouldn't be grumpy. I should be happy. This is uh, th there's lots of people with lots of interest, and I should not be a whiny runt. I should uh, man up. No, not man up because men are whiny runts. All, all of us. So I should just quit whining and deal with it. It's fun. This is this is literally my highlight of the the week. It's my playing my Factorio series. So I, yeah. It, it really is. Okay. Um, go get a quick beer. Yeah, but not now. It's it's late. Maybe, to be honest, it is Renting Friday. Uh, Renting Tuesday. So, I'm gonna... There is also something outside of this little space here that is also kind of... Uh, of getting, getting on... I mean, it's the fact that I'm now... Since I'm now single again, I have to go back to... The Tinder. The Tinder is like democracy. It is a shitty uh, feature, but it's the best. It's the least shitty option, um, and that's basically what it is. It's the best option for meeting someone, but it's still a pretty shitty option. And that's and it's just oh, I hate it. It takes so much time, and it's so little. Uh, I don't know benefit or. What do we call it? Pay off. There's so much wasted time. It, it's just... It's so much just fake and games and... Ugh. It's waste and... and yeah. You can't be honest. You can't be uh, anything. What are, we, what are we actually doing? What is it we want? We want... Oh, look at this happy one following the roads. 
Never used Tinder. Well, I am not as handsome or as charming as you, so I do have to um, do that. Tinder is kind of the worst, yes, but it's not really, because it's the only option there is. There are pretty much no other options for in terms of of um, of meeting someone because it's not like I'm gonna go out in in bars at night and meet someone right because I'm kind of here am I right so since I'm here I'm not gonna meet someone randomly that means it has to be something deliberate well old-fashioned dating sites are absolute shit and Tinder is just so superficial. Not good. Where one? Which one's this? Uh. Yeah, I would not do this in my my final factory base. Do not worry. This is awful what I did there. Wait, this is also cheating, by the way, because there's no way that this can support. So what I'm doing now is trying to empty this so that when these empty, I can expand it. I think I should expand it before, but I can't really do anything with this. I'd like to see that quadril operate, though, once the nuclear reactors are set up. Yep, I'd like to see that as well. Uh, but if you want to see it, I would recommend checking out the Hapoa stream, because he is uh, streaming it here also, and he is a bit further than I am. I think that's fair to say. And he does not have these silly, silly blocks to bother him. Or the AI miners. So. And he's a better player. So all of those things means that it is worth taking a look at his stream. Usually in the afternoon. much and okay awful okay, it's clearly the top ones that are being used the most so and that one yeah it's clearly not like that but I guess if we did a full Time for a bit of rant? Yeah. So, uh, you missed the belt from the bottom on loader. No, I didn't miss it. I just didn't build it. <laughs> uh, because it's just way too much and it doesn't matter. It's not consuming more. So this is just extra, extra belts being built. Anyway, um, so, let's, uh, so let's talk about this. No, I don't have bots yet. I'm a million billion years away from bots. Uh, right. Let's, uh, let's rant a bit about, so the Tinder thing, right? So, well, the thing is with, uh, with with Tinder is that it is not only a problem for men in how it works because the average man is a new subscriber hey, awesome, arrives. awesome Gonzo. You Thank you for the determination. Thank you for the two months of Twitch Prime. Thank you. Right, so let's analyze. The average man on Tinder is not getting any. Uh, any traction that's not a secret that's not a uh, hyperbole that's just the way it is ooh, 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 there we go ha <laughs> ha um, basically they and this is supported by uh, Tinder's own researchers the top 20% of women no the, the top 80% of women are competing for the top 20% of men 
and the bottom 80% of men are competing for the bottom 20% of women. Imagine that crazy. Imagine how crazy that is. If you just play that out, that means if you just look at how skewed that is, if you are in the top 20% men, then you are going to get a lot of contact and likes and super likes. If you're not, you're not getting any traction. And maybe it's not that bad, but it's it's pretty gloomy. Um, and I guess we're out of concrete as well. Uh, so when, once you add those up, that means you have a huge mass of men, the bottom 80% who are aggressive because they they really need to hit everything. They will swipe on everyone. And who determines the top and bottom? The market does. The market does. That's the bit brilliant of it. And Tinder will match you with people they think you have higher chance of matching with. Because that is... Oh, I don't do that. Actually, don't do that at all. So that's, that's another interesting little uh, bit there. Anyway, let's uh, let's just analyze this to the end. That means it, over time, men will see that, oh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to get anyone because it's just impossible. That means you're reverting to memes and just casual, like uh, you write one good text and you just copy paste it because what's the point? There's going to be one in 10 that replies. So why put in the effort, right? Why put in the effort when when there's not going to be any payoff. So that means when what are the what is the corresponding response for the women is yeah you just get memes and you get like uh, down to fuck because guys don't really bother because what's the point and that makes them even more uh, reserved and callous about the whole experience and it's just a really vicious circle that is not really getting anyone anywhere because the women who are looking for a relationship, they have to cipher through a lot of guys who are just desperate, who just wants anyone. Which means that you, it is just as bad for women as it is for men, because they have a lot of fake choice. You get a lot of requests and, and you have to figure out which ones are genuine and which ones are just desperate and irrelevant and or whatever we can, whatever else we can, we can call it or, or put a label on. And while the men are getting more and more callous and not caring, and the women are getting more and more uh, reserved and critical while ego is boosted, that is just the recipe for, yeah, not a lot of happiness on anyone's side. Because if you, whatever you're looking for, you have to match the market. So if you're looking for a one night stand, if you're looking for a partner, if you're looking for anything, you just have to get get a deal, no matter the, the premise. And what does that mean? Well, that means you have to fake it. You have to sell a product, even though that product isn't really the product. Whoops, that was pretty stupid. Uh, let's try placing that one again. Oops. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That's really what I wanted. Uh, can I place it? Does it exist? No, it does not. Hmm. Where is the depot? The depot is gone. It's still there, but it's not there. That's kind of sucky. Yeah. This is a problem. How do we re-establish this? Because it's halfway there, halfway not there. Oops. So anyway, that is why I'm a bit also a bit uh, sort of hesitant about the whole Tinder experience. Why don't I build it up there then?
because it is so utterly fake. Whoops, not that one, not that one, not that one. Oops, probably shouldn't have done that. Probably shouldn't have done that. And let's take some of this crap out here. This is stuff we want in our inventory. This is stuff we can live without. No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, forgot that. And. And how do you, so, how do you break the chain? I don't know. That's it that. So what do you think? Am I being callous and overdramatic? Or is that something anyone else has any experience with? Something that you can reflect on and say, yeah, that sounds pretty much right. It's like the housing market. The solution was to buy a house 20 years ago. <laughs> I think it's a clear perception around two choices. Play the game well or find somebody else who is just as tired of them. Ah, but burning. That's the second option is not a choice. Because how are you finding that person? Everyone knows that this is the market. It's like, it's like not being on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook. And everyone's like, oh yeah, we made a Facebook group. It's like, yeah, but I'm not on Facebook. Oh, well, sucks. You just don't get invited to birthdays now. Like, well, oh, okay, so by not being on the marketplace, you have to make the choice of whether that's worth it. Uh, is it impossible to be overdramatic while also being totally accurate? I vote that opin option. I am totally overdramatic. Would anything, uh, anything less than overdramatic would be wasteful. But you have to be over dramatic to, uh, to to sort of explain the point. I think. Why are they flying around like crazy? Um, this one. So somehow that's still too far away for that to go in. Hmm. Go up there. That's pretty uh, um, impractical. I think I'll take this one and you go over here. It will unfortunately be full of junk. If I want to find someone, especially since I'm, I'm maybe not, uh, not, not the ideal choice, since um, he's done pretty much everything, then it's going to be a bit tough. Trust me, laws couldn't have paths made negative paths by framing them by bricks. What? You said it's a marketing sales game. You need to treat it as such. Where? I mean, well, spending the time. Oh, Captain, that's exactly what I'm doing, and I'm and trust me, I'm I'm not being that unsuccessful. I get enough matches as it is, but it's the part after the match that sucks because you find someone who's like, oh, oh, I could I could see that working, and you craft a really good message, and you wait, and you wait some more, and you wait some more. And you wait some more, but at some point you just give up and move on. Hey, Jeffers, what are you saying? Mage Man, it's in one word, like, cheer 500. Oh, like that. <laughs> oh, Mage Man was trying to cheer. Cheer 500, can't stay long, hope. Oh, like that, okay, yeah. 
Thank you, Jeff. As I mean, if if anyone wants to know how it is, I'm sure Jeff can show you. That. It might be bad for my material health, but I don't bother looking. I am convinced the right woman simply does not exist. Might as well try to find. Generous hey, mage man. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a lot more concrete for us to feed the hungry base. Thank you. Oh yeah, just a, is it really that simple? Oh, it looks at your account, right? And and it you have to have that in your account. It doesn't just because you you write it, then it goes. Oh yeah, I'll just yummy it from your credit card. Or how does that work? Yeah, it won't let you if you aren't enough. Okay, so you basically you if you buy ten thousand to say, all right, then I have ten thousand, and then I can give two hundred here and two hundred here, and you want to get one thousand, and you put an extra zero, and it goes like, whoop, it's gone. So it's one, one, one for each of them. That's great. That's easy. You know what? That's just going to be exactly the same as this one, right? That's just going to be this one all over. Ta-da! Built. Thank you. Except different. And how long does this take? This takes 10 seconds. So that's actually very good that it takes 10 seconds. Yeah. That seems like uh, the good way to do this. We're going to spend the last of our... You have to say that. Uh, for large amounts, also, no, 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 the community credit card. Yeah, too bad about that community credit card. It's too bad. It's, it's, uh, it has been revoked or whatever, but it doesn't seem to exist anymore. It was good while it lasted. Made it. The problem with Tinder is a woman gets 10,000 messages where are copy pasted over and over. One well thought out message mass sent. Most men play the numbers game, sending the same message 100 times, hoping for the 10% reader. Exactly, JD. Uh, there is a very good book that's called, uh, what is it called? Uh, Dataclism. And is written by the founder of OKCupid. And basically, it looks at all the numbers games um, in from OKCupid okay and basically one of the observations was the highest hit rate was a message that had a lot of types in it which basically meant someone typed in the whole message so a long message that was handcrafted was the best slightly below that was a message that only took a paste which was few clicks for a long message, which they could apparently, which means a copy pasted message that was only slightly less effective than the handcrafted message, which means are you going to spend 20 minutes coming up with a well-crafted message for a 12% hit rate, or are you going to use some copy pasta for a 10% hit rate? The answer is obvious, but as the market adapts, that becomes not 10%, but 5% and 2%. And then on top of that, there's also the part that I'm actually rather picky. So it's tough. And how do you, how do you tell a match that, no, no, you're not an average match. Just like, yeah, whatever. No, you, I actually mean it. That's so difficult, right? Because how do you put in that extra effort when the whole concept is you never put in extra effort and that extra effort is almost impossible to see. That is interesting. Thank you, Mustard, for the 100. We're dishing out some truth here, some hard truth that hurt. But, I mean, 
I should not complain. Con all things considered, I am doing pretty well in that regard. It's just, it just feels so wasteful. Because this is time I could be spending on, on you. This is, this is quality time. And I have to take quality time away in order to do something that is obviously very low quality. And, oops, not that one. That's not very uh, rewarding. Why is my inventory always full of crap? A kind gesture. Hey, mustard! No, adds up to 500. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any text to uh, go along with it? Time to tell them that is not in a message or the first message or a cat message. Ah, but then unrelated logger, if it's not in the first message, then you're rolling the dice for the 10% match, 10% reply, or the 90%, but this is actually one that you are really interested in. Don't look for the perfect one. You don't need a unicorn. Just accept a horse that wears an ice cream cone on the head. It's almost perfect, generally good enough. Wow, JD, that, I, I hope your wife is not following you of what you're saying in chat here, because that's, that's dangerous talk you have there. Uh, uh, what is the, this inventory is just full of junk. Whoop, someone is attacking us. <laughs> okay, that's not so bad. Just have to burn the machines into electric. That's the stuff I can't even do that. But I have one of these and now I can put junk in there. I don't want to carry around this junk. Just put a bit of junk. I have so much junk. Oh, there's 20 can concrete. No! Uh, and do you have some tips for people who are studying programming? Um, my first tip would be if you spell like that, you're going to have a lot of issues with your programming. Spelling mistakes. Most programming languages are not particularly forgiving about that. But no, I'm not a programmer, so don't listen to me. I'm just a random guy. and I, I could give advice on managing programmers, but not on being a programmer. Focus on learning how to learn. Yeah. Right. Uh, oh, I was heading back for concrete. Um, hmm. Why do I have so many of these? I don't know. There's also a lot of extra things in the inventory here with this mod. Oh yeah, my new... 90 concrete. That's it. That's the last of the concrete. Spelling mistakes are not an issue in programming if you always make the same mistakes. Then it's not a mistake. Then it's just being inconsistent. If you are consistently bad at spelling. But that was just being cruel. I'm sorry. That was not intentional that I want to be cruel. It's just, um, yeah. That was not intended. Sorry. Craft. Oh yeah. Ow, ow, ow. And repair. And that one and that one goes out. Okay, so we can now... Now comes the next part. How the hell do we get some lubricant in here? I really think that the only option is like this. But how? It has to be up here. 
and then that way. Which is going to be really difficult, to be honest. I could do it in a truck, but still... Burn so much concrete on doing this. On the other hand, it's something that has to be done and it's important. Build. Imagine if I'd also have uh, have cliffs in this game. Oof. This is the last concrete for today. There have been some nice donations that we can actually. Uh, we will get a bit more in the next episode. But I do need to start rationalizing it. Uh, rationing it? Not rationalizing. Rationing it. And that has to go all the way over. Alright, cool. Um, truck? Truck. Cliff's not an awesome idea. Hot... Uh, no. Means about six million programmers have no idea what they're doing. Forty percent able to write code, which <laughs> Alright, Aneska, thank you for the donation and uh, thank you for dropping by today. Hope you're dropping by some other day and also being uh, uh able to join. Ah, my truck is uh, is my friend. It doesn't run me over. I can barely destroy anything when we turn to it. Oh. Hmm. How did that one get lost? And this one. Cool. Is that really all the concrete we had? Yes, that was all the concrete we had. All right, let's go back then. I love the part that it's driving on on the uh, on the tracks here that's so lovely wow my truck is taking a ton of damage from these uh, nano uh, termites or whatever they are right there repair all right let's have a look where can we salvage some we can salvage some from down here that's for sure let's go down there and salvage We could almost drive it. Generous thank you, Mustard. Wow, thank you. Another 500 bits. But you are aware that you've already been very generous today. So that's... and, and Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, pair thing in Mesa? No, I don't think so. Love that it's so fast. Don't love that I have to be so close. 
But I guess can't have all of it. Why is this not? Boop, boop. Experiment with your first bits. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. Well, the first bits are cheaper. Can I get it? So nice the speed it's working by. Right, that should get us somewhere. I don't know if it's enough, but it'll get us somewhere. Did you program them to use the road? Yes, I did. I did program them to use the road. And let's get up here and get these two. Smash, 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 smash. And continue on this one. The reason why I'm so insistent on this one is because this is where I'm going to drag. But hold on, did we do all of it? What? Oh no no no! no. It was one further down. Okay, never mind. This one down here. Like this. Mm. Mm. Go, 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 go. About and tap to get rid of some of the forest. Oh, I hope I, I brought enough. If not, I'm gonna regret making that other one. Ah, it should be enough. There. Jump out. Ow, 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 ow. How did these get destroyed? Right, so now I'm looking at this one. So basically. We're going to take this one. Oh, okay. We're going to do it in a different way since I can't do it that way. Wow, oh, there's a lot of things going wrong here. And that one is this. Uh, I want it, I want it there. Wow, I can't even do it at this location. Never mind. So where can we build it? We can build it there, maybe? Let's build it there. No way. This has to be... It has to be as close as possible because it's going to be really obstructive to everything. Basically, I want to do all of this, and then we can build it afterwards. What? Maybe even get more? like it's almost fitting with the whole bridge structure. It's getting a bit too close, isn't it? And what if I build it like two more 
And you know what? Someone really should build a pump somewhere. <laughs> uh, someone should also build a pump another place. How far? Oh, here. Uh, nope, here. Uh, and I will build that up there. That close enough? It's kind of close enough. So, now all I need is simply to build it, somehow. How do I do this? Um, first of all, yes, we are here. So when you get this, I think this is a good Milestone to make. Uh, look at this. This. There we go. I know. You might think I didn't have to say this noises, but I do. And this one is primarily to make sure that there's a. It works as a flow valve thing. Does it contain... Yes, it does contain stuff. Good. Alright, Snowsko, off to bed. Thank you for keeping me company. Go. I had some drinks too much. Oh. What? Uh, give pump energy, please. After break. Oh, okay. After, there will be no break. And this will be the last bit here. We are not going later than midnight on a normal work day. I think that's unfair. And this one. Whoop. Still happy? Still 100. As long as it says 100, we're happy. We're not happy. Now we're happy. Just slowly cruising along here. So on one side, this is easier than the uh, the other ones because the other ones would have been always be bumping into me. On the other hand, they would also have a lot longer range. So I don't know if it's easier with one or the other. Not too happy about building right across a copper location because we are going to need this copper location, maybe, probably. And let's see. Is it working? Nope. Because we're not having that one. What? Oh, it's 100. Okay, great. So things are pouring in, that's excellent. But we are still missing green circuits and electric things. I think this one has to be solved in another way, like that. It's this one will be here, and that'll be that one, and that one, and I am only continuing until we have this one created because that's a good milestone. Right. I can't even build in here. Yeah. 
This is probably going to be... Like this. That one. And where's the next one? The next one is actually one up. That's not gonna work then. Come on. Jumping over here. Here. And that one. And now this one. This should be the electric motors and then everyone will be happy. At least me. Good. Now of course there's some misses here that one we'll just sort that out we'll also sort this out yes so now boom all right let's see are we getting stuff on this one oh yeah here it is here it is They just crashed the, and burned the whole game. Yeah, they did. They crashed and burned the server. So that's going to be a no thank you for me right now. Until And we are working our way slowly, but unsurely towards the robots. So I think that they will never come back. They have had their chance. really would like to get rid of all of this. Not so easy though. Yes, got it. And they are working. We have electric motors, which is the first, the next step. Adding electric motors to flying robot frames. Woohoo! Yes, loader is facing the wrong direction. Depends on what it wants to do. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Very, uh, very kind of you. Okay, so it, now we do take stock of the situation. So despite all the awfulness, oh, hello. Hello, Biders. Did you think that's a great position to, I mean, I think we need to build some more of these then. Oops, the 500. Um. Come on. Let's take at least those four up here. Yeah. So let's take stock of the situation. So we crashed and burned and spent the majority of the first hour doing that. What we've done is we have built the fuel base. I will actually make this into a power plant because I'll just grab some water from here and link it up there. Maybe, or maybe over there, don't know. Or maybe I'll just make the power plant over here. That's actually re way easier. Anyway, look at this, just go. Uh, so we built that. We set up our first trains. We built plastic and it's awesome. How awesome is it? It's 15,000 awesome. We cheated a bit and got back. We built a new and very, very simple way of doing, uh, doing iron mining here. Simply just tag them out there, get our little hauler which drives on the path. Yes, please. Then what do we did back here? We did our red circuits. We have that in abundance. And we also did, let's actually do that. We did our engine units. And we did, oops, 
Uh, can we just get here? And we did finally, finally, finally our electric engine units. So these will now need to go into here, which means batteries. Oh, that's going to be a bit of a, a drag, but we're going to do batteries next time so we can get our flying robot frames, so we can get some robots and robopods, and then we can start just doing stuff with that. Right, so all things considered, it was it was a chaotic day, but I think that we ended up in a very positive space where we can say we did move forward, not as much as, as you could expect maybe, but enough, enough that it's not completely embarrassing. That's my take on it. Yes, I know it is a small enemy base, but please send a warden with repair packs with the chain gunners. <laughs> yeah, I don't have wardens, but uh, maybe. Oh my, real map for the mod combo. Nero's is playing minus the pride mods, of course. It was a bad idea. My iron is out and I'm driving around the lake looking for <laughs> ore since half an hour ago. Ooh, train world. Right. So thank you guys for your patience with me. And I promise everything will be better next time. And for anyone who has been so kind at, as donating today, which is awesome. Thank you very much. And supporting. Do not fear, it will be added to the game between this session and next. Next time will be Thursday. Tomorrow it is satisfactory. I'm actually trying to alternate factorial satisfactory and see how that goes um, for all the days I have for streaming. I think that's about it. We can jump over to Nephrom's if uh, that is uh, who we know. Yeah. channel is intended for mature audiences. Ooh. Okay, so thanks everyone. Um, I'll see you guys around. Now I need to uh, get some sleep. Oh, no, I need to go troll on Tinder, right? I'll get some sleep. One or the other. Anyway, see you guys. Have fun. party 147 cool that was a big raid thank you